Hi everyone, it's Norm Gregoire here, the community liaison for species at risk in the tall grass prairie natural area in Manitoba. So on today's episode, we'll be talking about the northern leopard frog. This frog is a favorite for kids and adults alike to watch throughout the summer. Today I'll be focusing on the western boreal and prairie populations, which can be found in Northwest Territories, South Central Alberta, Saskatchewan, and right here in Manitoba. Okay, so this is a northern leopard frog. I think most people are pretty used to how these guys look. You can uh, see where it got its name from, those spots on the back, just like the cat, the leopards. It doesn't have any spots on the belly. That belly is kind of a plain white color. The top has the spots and also that greenish color helps it camouflage. Another thing to note is that ridge, you can see from the eye going across its back, it's called a dorsal ridge. And then those long legs in the back. just thought I'd show you guys the uh, variations in color for the leopard frogs. This one you can tell is a little bit more bright green in color compared to the last video which was a bit more brown. As an amphibian, the northern leopard frog undergoes uh, quite a few changes throughout its lifetime, starting from a pretty non-distinct egg, then growing into a tadpole, and then finally the adult, which most of us are more familiar with. So this life cycle first starts in the spring, when the adults are in search of a marshy body of water, sort of like the one we're in right now, doesn't necessarily have to be a permanent body of water, but just a place for them to lay their eggs in. The female can lay up to 7,000 eggs, but usually it's uh, less than half that amount. And that's gonna be laid in uh, submerged vegetation in the water. Uh, it takes about three weeks for those eggs to hatch, and a majority of them will be predated on from different things like birds, uh, and when the tadpole finally does hatch from the eggs, it looks quite a bit different. It has external gills that help it breathe and it starts growing a tail. Now at first, in the tadpole's life, it's not moving around so much, waiting for that tail to grow. As the tail grows, well, the movement increases. Uh, it'll be in search of prey at that point, uh, usually small things like insects and uh, vegetation as well. Now the next part of the tadpole's growth is something sort of almost out of a science fiction novel. The tadpole totally slows down its movement and what it does is it stops hunting and it totally relies on the fat reserves built up on its tail to help it grow into adulthood. So once that tail starts to disappear, legs actually start to grow to somewhat replace that. And this whole process of the tadpole turning into the adult can range anywhere from two to four months. As an adult, the northern leopard frog searches for a bit of a different habitat to what the tadpoles grew up in. So usually they're in search of a wet meadow or grassland, like the one I'm in right now. And uh, they're really in this area in search of prey. So they're omnivores, they'll eat anything that they can uh, fit into their mouths, insects, even in some cases small frogs, and even small snakes and birds on occasions, rare occasions. Uh, how they're able to fit this larger prey down their throats is actually they have an adaptation that allows them to retract their eyes and that helps it push down that prey down their throat. 
So as they go throughout the summer and they're eating away, they're then in search of their winter habitat. So they overwinter in ponds that don't freeze to the bottom and are uh, definitely well oxygenated. Those are the two things that they're looking for. So unlike their other habitats, this overwintering one has to be a permanent body of water. Because the northern leopard frog requires various habitats throughout the different stages of its life cycle, this just increases the threat level to the frog itself. So some of the things that can potentially hurt its habitat would be the uh, wetland drainage or wetland filming of its early stage life cycle. And when we're talking about the adult leopard frog development, of that upland habitat can also uh, hurt the leopard frog. It's not just about habitat loss for the northern leopard frog. We also have environmental problems like you know, droughts and on the opposite side of that in the winter deep freezes, those deep ponds freezing to the bottom isn't good for the leopard frog obviously. And then in the early stages of the leopard frog's life cycle they can also be affected by uh, different types of pollutions which aren't good for them. But it's not all doom and gloom for the leopard frog because since the 70s and 80s, the numbers of the northern leopard frogs throughout Manitoba are slowly but surely starting to crawl back up. Thanks everyone so much for watching today's episode on the northern leopard frog. We're coming into our summer seasons here in the tall grass prairie natural area, which means you're more likely now to see a leopard frog or any of the species at risk we have in this area. If anyone has any pictures or videos you'd like to share with me, I'd love to see them. You can send them to me at sarcommunityliaison at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching.